hello everyone welcome back in this section we will see how to download and install pycharm ide now if you are into learning python as a developer or if you are into website automation using python and selenium pycharm ide acts as one of the best ide for anything related to python so let's go ahead download and install it Open up your favorite browser, type in PyCharm in the bar, go to JetBrains, and on the right hand side you will see download. Now there are two versions of Windows, Mac, Linux. Uh, the one which I'm going to use is the community edition. This is freeware. There is also a professional edition which comes for with some license so we will use the community edition click on go ahead click on download it says your download should start automatically if it doesn't please use the direct link i can see that my download has started once the download finish open the folder where it has downloaded right click and run as administrator now click on next the destination folder will be inside C program files, JetBrain, PyCharm Community Edition. Next, create a shortcut on the desktop. And I would like to add context menu. This add open folder as project in the context menu. Create associations. Add bin folder to the path. Next, install. All right, the installation has finished. Now it says I want to reboot later. I want to reboot now. Let's go ahead and reboot. Click on reboot now and click on finish. Okay, so once the you restart the computer, there will be PyCharm Community Edition on your desktop. Double click on it. Say some um, user agreement. Click on confirm and continue. If you want to share the anonymous data about the features and plugins, you may choose to send, or you can click on don't send. I'm using don't send. Okay, so this is how it looks. Projects. Welcome to PyCharm. Create a new project to start from scratch. New project. Open an existing project from the disk or get from version control. And let's see what do we have in customize as Dracula. But I will say IntelliJ Darkula. We'll say IntelliJ Light. I like the light version and if you have some sort of vision deficiency then this is something you want to click i'm not sure what does it do if there are any plugins installed or if you want to install any plugins related to pycharm and if you want to start learning ide features there's an option for that so let's click on new project and this is just a test project so it will go into the c users welcome pycharm projects in fact, I would like to create a folder in C drive and I will say it H. I will choose the H from here. We'll name it as test project. Let's just hit create for now. Let's see what happens. Now it has started to launch. So the PyCharm IDE has been installed on the computer successfully. You can play around with it. Thank you for taking some time to watch it. I hope to see you again. Have a nice day.